Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime, where I post about skincare products I'm currently using. I also have a blog where I write in-depth skincare reviews, for which the link will be down below. In this video, I'll be swatching and providing my first impressions of products sent to me from the French pharmacy brand Aven. Also, if you would like to support both the channel, Instagram and blog, then please consider becoming a patron today. There are different tiers with different benefits such as voting for product reviews, blog posts and YouTube topics, as well as exclusive content and sneak peek access. Aven centres its products around spring water from France. It's meant to soothe inflammation and keep the skin's microbiota balanced. So that's why people with inflamed skins usually like to mist the Aven Thermal Spring Water Spray onto their faces to try and soothe the skin and reduce touching the skin. Although these products are aimed at sensitive skins, not all of these are fragrance free and I will flag up which ones those are. Now let's get on with the video. First up is the cleansing lotion which is from their Tolerance line, which is specifically targeted at extremely sensitive and sensitized skins. That's why this is fragrance free, to reduce the chance of any irritation. This cleansing milk is meant to soothe hypersensitive and allergic skin. It's calming, non-drying and hydrating, i.e. it doesn't strip the skin of its natural oils like a gel or a foam cleanser would. So this is great for dry and very dry skins. I have combination skin and I love using non-drying or non-stripping cleansers just to keep my skin barrier intact and at an equilibrium. This contains glycerin, which is a humectant, capric triglyceride, as well as squalane, which is a lovely oil. As you can see, this has a cream-like texture. It feels very soft and smooth in the hands. This doesn't dry out my skin, and my skin doesn't feel in discomfort after washing. When water is added, this turns slightly milky, but not extensively milky. But this is still easy to wash off, and I'm not left with an oily or greasy residue. As this is supposedly a makeup remover, I wanted to see how effective this is at removing makeup. I used an Urban Decay Liquid Lip and MAC lipsticks to test this out. I rubbed for 30 seconds before adding water and rubbing again. And as you can see, it doesn't get into a foamy lather while rubbing, and the makeup is taking some time to melt off. And this is the final product. It didn't melt away the makeup as efficiently as something like a cleansing balm, but it did generally okay. So to remove stubborn makeup, this does require a double cleanse. Personally, I use this to remove SPF, and it does that job efficiently. If the skin is extremely sensitized, you don't need to wash this cleanser off. Just like cold creams, you can wipe this off with pads or a tissue. Next up is the PhysioLift Serum. This is a smoothing plumping serum. It's meant to help physically cover the look of fine lines. It aims to hydrate the skin and plump the skin. It contains two types of hyaluronic acid to help fill fine lines. This also contains something called asophylline, which is a patented derivative of algae, and it's meant to help restore the skin's natural collagen. This also contains pre which is a powerful antioxidant and a precursor to vitamin E. This is aimed at all skin types, especially sensitive and aging skin. This serum aims to firm, regenerate and smooth the look of the skin. This is a serum that has a sort of silicone slip, which will help smooth out the skin and physically fill in those fine lines. This also contains mica or mica, which gives a nice glittery look to the skin. This also contains titanium dioxide. So as you can tell, this product will brighten the skin almost immediately. So with the silicone, mica and titanium dioxide, 
The skin will immediately look blurred, softened and smoothed, as well as looking a little brightened. The long-term effects come with the collagen-stimulating ingredient, oxidative damage protection, as well as the hyaluronic acid. Overall, the texture of this is very pleasant. It's lightweight, not sticky and not greasy. And it does feel moisturising. So I think overall this is a really nice skin prepping serum, which will give one a healthy glow. It's lightweight, not sticky and not tacky. I'm not quite sure about those with darker skins because titanium dark side usually doesn't work on darker skin tones. And also this is quite heavily fragranced, so you need to be comfortable with fragrance if you want to use this. Next up is the Triacneal Expert, which is an evening moisturiser that aims to target blemishes, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and tackles the first signs of ageing. So this product is good for those who are worried about both blemishes and wrinkles. It contains three actives, Diolanil, which is an antibacterial and anti-inflammatory ingredient that aims to reduce acne-causing bacteria on the skin, Expressin, which is an exfoliating enzyme that aims to tackle pigmentation marks left behind by pimples, and a gold star ingredient, which is retinaldehyde. This is a vitamin A derivative. That means this is more gentle than retinol, but also is not as strong as retinol. So be patient and consistent with this serum to start seeing results. Retinaldehyde helps reduce blocked pores through improving shedding of the skin and also removes the uppermost layer of the skin, which helps fade blemish marks quicker, as well as reducing the look of fine lines on the surface of the skin. This was tested on 20 women with acne-prone skin. They applied this product once a day in the PM for six weeks, and 14 out of the 20 women said their marks had faded, but only nine of the women said that this significantly reduced the number of spots and blackheads they had. So overall, I'd say a great way to improve the efficacy of a product like this is to use this in conjunction with an active aimed at acne, like pairing this with salicylic acid or azelaic acid. You can check out my typology video where I mention a good effective 10% azelaic acid serum. And just letting you know, this does contain fragrance. It smells like a bar of soap. I do wonder if the red pigment included is to try and cancel out any discoloration or dark pigmentation left behind by blemishes. Is it a subtle form of colour correcting? In terms of the texture, this feels lush. It's not a silicone heavy formula and feels more like water. It's refreshing on the skin. It spreads beautifully and doesn't feel sticky or tacky either. I think oily skins as well as combination skins could enjoy this as it's not too heavy. Of course dry skins could use this under or on top of a moisturiser. What I don't like is the red pigment. I don't want it to stain my pillow sheets. And, once again, the fragrance is very strong and smells soapy. Next up is the Physiolift Day Smoothing Emulsion. This is a daily moisturiser for normal to combination skin. It contains asophyllin to help replenish collagen, as well as fragments, which are smaller molecules, of hyaluronic acid to help penetrate into the skin to provide skin hydration. This also contains pre which is pre-vitamin E, and is an antioxidant to help reduce oxidation of the skin. This also contains mica or mica and titanium dioxide, which are two cosmetic ingredients meant to help brighten the skin and add immediate glow. So this may not suit those with a darker skin tone due to the titanium dioxide. These ingredients can also leave marks on your pillow or mask, so just be weary. This also contains fragrance. This is probably the strongest fragranced product in the line that I've tried. It just smells quite heavily of soap. This feels slightly thicker than the previous serum. It has a bit more of a weight to it, but that doesn't mean that it's difficult to spread around the skin. 
it feels very moisturizing, but not too heavy either. I think combination skins would really enjoy this. The finish that I'm left with is not a sticky or tacky one. The skin feels very smooth and soft thanks to the silicone. And I barely feel like I have any product on the skin. This is basically a nice, subtly glowy moisturiser. It doesn't really do much except for make the skin look a little bit brighter and moisturise the skin at the same time. So it's quite a basic product and if you like that idea, then I would recommend it for you. Next up is the Physiolift Eye Cream. This aims to smooth wrinkles and helps firm the delicate skin around the eye area while helping reduce the look of puffiness and dark circles. This has a mixture of the actors from all the previous serums. What I mean by that is that this contains hyaluronic acid fragments, pretosophyrol, retinaldehyde and asophyllin. So this serum aims to reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles, textured skin and aims to protect the delicate eye skin from oxidative stress as well as dehydration and skin aging. This product is fragrance free so it smells pretty much of nothing. It does contain a red pigment, I'm guessing it's also to help with subtle colour correcting. In terms of the texture this feels velvety and smooth which means it has silicones. These will help superficially plump up fine lines but be careful not to add too much product as balling up can occur with silicone formulas. The skin feels soft, this does not feel heavy, but it also doesn't feel very watery either. It definitely doesn't feel greasy and doesn't have an oily finish. I'd say it's more of a matte finish. It's not as hydrating as something like the Good Molecules Yerba Mate eye gel, but is more along the lines of a regular eye cream. Kind of like the retinol eye cream from the Inky list. I do think dry skins would appreciate this formula, however. And I do like that it has retinaldehyde in it, which is a nice touch. Next up is an excellent lip product, which is the Sickle Fate Lips Restorative Cream. I have already posted my full review on the blog if you want an in-depth review. This is a lip cream aimed at dry and severely chapped lips, but it can be used on other areas like a skin salve. This is unscented and unfragranced, so it's suitable for ultra sensitive skins. It's meant to reduce inflammation as well as nourish, protect and restore damaged skin. This contains sucrophate and zinc sulfate which together helps reduce bacterial proliferation and promotes epidermal repair. This contains a combination of waxes, oils and glycerin to moisturise and hydrate the skin. So it forms a film on top of the skin which supposedly lasts up to 6 hours. I like the packaging, this comes in a tilted squeeze tube with a cap. In terms of the texture, this is non-sticky. It has a smooth creamy feeling to it. I mean it doesn't feel like Vaseline. It's quite unique as I've never tried a lip cream before. And I like the intensely moisturising texture. I do prefer to use this in the PM to avoid any white looking lips and let it moisturise and nourish the lips or any dry damaged skin. I highly recommend this product to those who have very dry and chapped lips and would prefer something more effective than a lip sleeping mask. So there you have it, those are the products. Let me know if you've tried any and what your experience was like. Personally my two favourites are the lip cream and cleansing lotion. I look forward to testing them out and posting my reviews on the blog. I have recently reviewed their SPF if you want to check it out on the blog. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it then please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe today for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!